Uh, there is a question from functional analysis in CSNI 2023 mathematical science. Uh, the question goes like this which of the following statements are true for an arbitrary norm linear space u every bounded linear function from u to r is continuous u is uh, i think they are they want to say isomorphic isometric to u star u star u star it's dual dual of u dual of u contains all linear functionals of u. For every x belongs to u, we have x norm as supremum of fx, norm of f is less than or equal to 1, where f belongs to f u star. We are taking a supremum over all functions in the dual such that their norm is less than or equal to 1. Then we take their supremum. The closed unit ball in u is a compact set. Okay. When we talk about a solution, first of all, first is uh, a very famous result, trivial, every bounded linear function from Udra is continuous, it's a famous result. Second is not true, is not true in general as general as um, L if we take any example of LP, LP space, their dual is LQ, LQ where Q is conjugate, 1 plus and 1 by Q is equal to 1, but uh, LP is not isomorphic to LQ. except when p for okay, for this case they are same but for all other case they are different is not so yes second is not true when we comes to third okay okay consider the third part which says that is it true or not x norm is equal to uh, it was supremum of f norm less than or equal to 1 fx okay we need to check if this is true or not Uh, first of all, uh, from the definition of the norms and the properties of norms, we know this result fx mod is less than or equal to f norm into x. So this uh, as f norm is less than or equal to 1, thus this is less than or equal to x. So we do have for all f this is true for all f thus supremum of f less than or equal to 1 fx is less than or equal to x we can say at least that much okay now there is a corollary of Hahn Banach theorem uh, okay to uh, move ahead there is a corollary of Hahn Banach theorem which uh, you can find on uh, wait a second you can find on the page number why it's not working uh, you can find this on page number 223 of crazy famous book of functional analysis Spanning of the basic book. Um, I, I, will, I will write that theorem. This theorem says that this is a, a corollary of actually it's a corollary of Arn Banach theorem. Application of Arn Banach theorem. Let X be a norm space. Uh, 
and let x not not equal to zero. X not belongs to x any any x arbitrary. There exists f belongs to dual. Uh, he denoted by f bar f tilde such that norm of f tilde norm of f tilde is equal to 1 and f tilde at x naught is equal to norm of x naught this is the theorem and it is given it's it's a consequences of Han Banach theorem Okay, using this theorem, we can say that there for x2 we can find an f, f tilde. There exists f tilde such that f tilde norm is 1 and f tilde x is equal to x. Okay, as f tilde norm is 1, therefore it belongs to uh, the supreme we are taking we are taking supreme over all f whose norm is less than or equal to 1 and we get a function f f tilde whose norm is 1 so definitely this belongs to this and thus we have yes so thus we have supreme of fx f is f mod is less than or equal to 1 will be equal to x because as there is an element in this set whose value at f is equal to the norm of x so this is a true statement okay now we come to the fourth part of the question which is talking about if uh, u is an closed ball the fourth point is the closed unit ball the closed unit ball Okay, fine. And uh, the fourth part is the closed unit ball in U is a compact set. Uh, this is again a false statement. This is not true always. Uh, we can take an example. Say, let me take L2 space. Set of all square summable sequences. All sequences such that a n square summation is less than infinity. I think or everyone knows about the L2 space okay here we take the unit ball okay what is a unit ball actually unit ball is those x belongs to L2 such that x norm 2 is less than or equal to 1 this is a unit ball okay and uh, we know a property of compact sets in metric space Actually, it's a definition of compact set in metric space. Definition of compact set in metric space says that every sequence. Compact set M, every sequence in M has a convergent subsequence. So here, let's call it uh, M. 
here in M consider E1 is equal to 1, 0, 0 and so on. This is a sequence belongs to M. We can one can easily verify. Similarly, E E2 is uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And so on we define E n. En is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1 at nth, nth position and then 0, 0, 0. Uh, this is a sequence in M. Okay. If you consider En is a sequence in M. But this has no convergent subsequence because if we take any En minus Em and we take its norm, it will be root 2. You can check it. This is not a big deal, simple calculations. It will be root 2. Thus, En has no convergent subsequence. Because every point is a root 2 apart from each other. So, we cannot have a sequence which no, has, as, if it has a convergent subsequence that is Cauchy. So, mean its terms become closer closer to each other. But they are always root 2 distance apart. Then subsequence and hence uh, M is not a complex set. Okay, thus we have uh, first is true, third is true. Yeah, second is false and fourth is false. First and true are correct answers.